Happy fall, y'all. Sorry, I will not do that again. I will not do that again. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are talking about my fall favorites. I didn't do a favorites video for September. I might not have even done one for August. So today's favorite video is going to encompass all of the things that I not only love during fall, but new things I've discovered these past couple of months that pertain to fall. Because honestly, once August hits, everything I'm doing is with fall in mind anyways. So we've got coffee, we've got candles, we've got new skincare for the drier weather. We've got, we got it all. We got it all. We got some makeup thrown in there. We got some lifestyle favorites. It's going to be a good video. So hold on to your broomsticks, which is <laughs> stupid. I don't know where that came from. All right, let's get started. So first, I want to talk about our sponsor, which is also probably the most favorite thing of fall for me, and that's Glasses USA. I get so many questions in the comment section of my videos and on Instagram asking me where I get my glasses or what kind of glasses they are, and it's actually really funny because before Glasses USA reached out to me and asked me to sponsor a video, I had literally just ordered two pairs of glasses off of Glasses USA because I knew fall was coming and literally fall is the only time where I feel even slightly fashionable because my style is combat boots, jeans, and, and big sweaters. I'm not a summer girl, I'm not a spring girl. When the cooler weather hits, that's my, my happy place. It's the only time I feel like what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis actually works with the season. And I love glasses to use as accessories. Now, obviously, I am terribly, terribly blind. I can't see anything without these glasses on, but instead of getting LASIK or putting contacts in, I decided to embrace my glasses wearing and use glasses as a form of accessory. And Glasses USA helps me do that, and it can help you do that too, because I cannot believe how affordable and easy it is to use Glasses USA. I will never walk into another lens crafters in my life. I will never have to sit there and try on multiple pairs of glasses while my two-year-old is screaming at me and my eight-year-old's asking if we can go to the pet store. I'll never do that again. I will order from Glasses USA forever. Glasses USA offers you stylish and trendy frames for literally a fraction of the price that you would normally find these frames and these glasses in the stores. It's super easy to upload your prescription online. They have this sort of tool where you can try different glasses on by uploading a picture of yourself. And then you can try what the different glasses would look like on you. And the best part is because if you're looking at glasses as accessories, where you'd go to like Lens Crafters or America's Best or someplace like that, and, and you'd only be able to get one pair of glasses, you can go to Glasses USA and get two or three pairs for the same price that you'd be paying at these stores for one pair. So you can actually use them as accessories and switch them out depending on your mood or your outfits. So it's just such a great service. And it's one of those services where I'd say it changed my life. I will never ever go back to the old way. But let me show you some of the glasses that I've been wearing in my videos over the last couple of months because you guys have been asking. This pair that I have on right now, this is a pair of Ray-Bans. So these are the Ray-Bans 7066 in brown tortoise. I really liked these ones because they were a, a more oversized frame. I liked the brown color for fall. It was gonna match kind of my like cozier, warmer toned sweaters and things like that. So I really liked these Ray bands you know they go back for me I used to wear Ray-Bans back in the day but I'd always pick like the black frames which were a little too severe for me but I really like the brown tortoise shell look so these are the Muse Marlene and the color is a blue multicolor and tortoise shell and I really liked that because it was kind of different than I usually wear. I don't usually wear like multicolored glasses but I also like this too because the frame was big but not as big as the Ray-Bans and it had a different color. It had some color in there and I've been wearing a lot of blue this season too if you guys noticed. So I really liked that. They also sent me a pair of glow-in-the-dark glasses for the Halloween season because you know Glasses USA is a huge Halloween supporter. They love Halloween. So they um, sent me glow in the dark glasses and they've actually been a hit on the Haunted Hayrides I've been on this month. So score. <laughs> 
These next two pairs I've been wearing for several months and everybody's been asking about them. So you have these ones, which are the gold with the clear on the top. And then you've got these guys, which are like a pink clear. And I have gotten so many questions about those two pairs. So the first one was the Muse Francesca Clear Beige Gold. And then the second one was the all pink frames, the pink plastic frames. And those were the Muse times Hilary Duff Zora Clear Pink. Um, I will put the link to all of these in the description box. So all of you out there who have been asking where I get my glasses from or what model there are, and there have been quite a few, now you know what pretty much all my glasses are. If you guys are interested in checking out Glasses USA for yourself and finding a new way to accessorize your fall and winter wardrobe with glasses, then please go into the description box and check the link in the description box to get 65% off your first pair. And trust me, Glasses USA is Stephanie Harlow approved. I love this service. And if you don't believe me, I can literally show you the receipt where I purchased glasses myself. Now, last year I teamed up with Glasses USA and they sponsored me and they sent me a couple pairs of glasses, but then I loved those glasses so much and I got so much good feedback from you guys. I went personally and bought two pairs myself and then they reached out to me again these past couple of months and they sent me another couple pairs. So you would think I'd be like set with glasses, right? I, I probably have like five pairs at this point, maybe six, maybe. And do you think I I'd be like set but I feel like because it's so easy and so affordable I might get more glasses from glasses USA okay guys so that was a twofer that was a sponsor of this video but also literally my top favorite thing of this fall season so far because I love all my new glasses that I've gotten these past couple of months I'm so excited about them go and check them out and let's move on to the next we're gonna talk about coffee next because coffee is fall right fall is coffee coffee is fall you can't have one without the other they are synonymous in my opinion. So you guys know I have a Starbucks problem. I do, I have a Starbucks problem a little bit. So I like go there often, right? But it's usually just when I'm out and about and I'll get a Starbucks. And I have like the espresso machine at home, which I like to use, but at the same time, it's just never the same as getting a cup of coffee handed to you by somebody who made it for you. Especially because like getting the espresso machine on and steaming the milk and then cleaning it after Afterwards, it's like this whole process. So I started drinking drip coffee a lot, probably starting in September because we went to Cape Cod in August and we had like a coffee machine there. And I was like, this is so easy. Just wake up and make coffee and then it's there for you. And you can like drink off of this pot all day. This is awesome. It's like drip coffee's been around, you know, obviously my whole entire life and I've just discovered how awesome it is. So I went and got like a Hamilton Beach coffee maker and I was like, this coffee maker sucks. There's always grounds in my coffee. It's like, it's always just, I don't know, am I making this wrong? Do I not know how to make drip coffee? Am I doing something wrong because this is not good? So then I started doing research and before I make a purchase, I always do a ton of research. And I was like, what's the best coffee machine? And obviously there was things coming up like Ninja or um, Keurigs or stuff like that. And I've had a Keurig before. I don't like Keurigs. I think they're awful. I think the taste of a cup of coffee that comes out of a Keurig is, it's like when you get um, hot chocolate at a skating rink. It's pretty much just really hot, like brownish water with these little things in there that are supposed to be marshmallows and it's not at all what it's supposed to be and it's not at all good but you're freezing at the ice rink so you drink it anyways that's what a Keurig coffee is like to me so I did research on what was the best coffee maker and I bought myself a new coffee maker and it's not anything fancy like an espresso machine it's just a drip coffee maker but it's supposedly it's like the best coffee maker in the world and it's called a Technovorn Mocha Master I love this thing. Now there's supposed to be something about it. There's like a coil inside of this coffee maker that heats it up to the exact right temperature that's gonna make the best um, tasting cup of coffee. The actual like drip part where the water comes out is like a long bar. So it comes out from like several different holes. It's super fancy. It's actually not fancy. It looks just like a normal coffee maker. It doesn't even have a timer. Like you can't even set it to brew when you get up in the morning, but I've never had such a good cup of coffee. And I have literally gone to Starbucks, I think maybe once, 
these past couple of weeks maybe once maybe twice so it definitely fulfills my coffee needs these mocha masters are handmade in the Netherlands. They're like put together by hand, tested by hand. Their website says all Technivore products are granted with a seal of approval, meeting the strict quality guidelines of the European coffee brewing centers. ECBC, that's fancy, ECBC. The thing I really liked about it though, because I was stuck between the Technivorn and another one, and I think it might have been the Breville, but at this point I don't, even, I don't even remember because I'm just so much in love with the Technivorn. The thing about it is it had a five year warranty, and I don't believe that the other one did. So, like, if anything happens in five years, it's not like a limited warranty. If anything happens in five years, they're just gonna replace it for you. So, it's got a really good warranty. It's handmade. It's kind of just one of those things that you really want to invest in, and you'll never need another coffee maker in your life. But while we're talking about coffee, I found a new coffee brand that I'm surprisingly happy with and it's uh, Archer Farms from Target. So I was really surprised that I liked this coffee so much, but literally I have gone through so much of this coffee in the last couple of months. So right now this is the um, Archer Farms Mocha Chocolate and I also have the Archer Farms Vanilla Bean Creme Brulee. These are both excellent, but the two that are even more excellent that I bought specifically so I could show you guys, but then drank it all before I could was the Hazelnut, just your plain old hazelnut and then it may have been hazelnut cream no I think it was just hazelnut and then there's another one that's called vanilla or cinnamon vanilla nut I'll find exactly what it is and put it in the description box it's only like five bucks per bag which is way cheaper than like Starbucks coffee or the fancy coffee that I've been buying from Wegmans where I like scoop it out of the bin and then grind it myself like a fancy person I don't have time to be fancy and this coffee is great so Archer Farms for the win I think it's like sustainable and organic I may be lying but I don't think so I definitely feel like I read somewhere that it was fair trade, organic, all the good stuff that you want it to be when you're drinking your cup of coffee and you don't want to feel guilty about something. Cause it's fall, y'all. One more coffee related item before we move on. This ginormous, <laughs> this ginormous thermos. Listen, I don't know how much is in here. I think it holds 60 ounces. I got this off of Amazon. But let me tell you, I can't even, this is magic. It's like, what is this witchcraft? I've been going to the library to do research for the past couple of months because it's hard to do it at home, especially when the kids are home. So Adam will say like, oh, I'll watch the kids for you, you know, a couple hours this day so you can get some research done, but then they know I'm there. So they, they find me, they seek me out and they find me and I get nothing done. So I've been going to the library, but I've been finding while sitting at the library for hours and hours that I'm like thirsty and I need coffee because when I'm researching at home, I just like drink coffee nonstop. So I needed something to bring my coffee to the library with me, but I also wanted to make sure that it would stay warm for several hours. So I wasn't drinking like this tepid lukewarm coffee at the end of the day and hating my life. This thing literally keeps the coffee boiling hot forever. So one day I made a whole, I made like two pots of coffee and put it in here. Two pots of coffee, put it in here, went to the library. This was like 9 a.m. The next morning, I'm going to front store. I got home from the library and then there was like something happening at the house where like the kids were having a meltdown. So I just remember putting it by the coffee maker and forgetting to empty it, which I hate to do that, but I forgot to empty it. The next morning, I didn't have coffee at home because I had a dentist appointment and I don't like drinking coffee before my dentist appointment for obvious reasons. So I didn't have coffee at home. I got coffee after my dentist appointment. Then later I got home. So this is over 24 hours later. It's probably four or five o'clock and I'm, I'm gonna make my, my evening cup of coffee and I go over there and I see the thermos and I'm like, oh crap, I forgot to empty this. So this is over 24 hours later. I dumped it out. It was still steaming. This is magic, magic. I mean, do I feel like I'm a miner going off to the mines? All right, I'm going off to work in the mines. Heck yeah, I feel like, you know, I'm this old factory worker from like the 1930s because this is super like retro and old fashioned looking, but that's why. I love it even more, I love it even more. It's like totally me kind of out of place, but you know, trying, trying to be something, trying to be something special. And inside, it's really hot. 
so we ain't coming. Anyways, guys, I love this. I got this on Amazon, and I'll put the link in the description box if you guys want to check it out. One candle, one candle. I didn't buy a lot of candles this year because I have so many. Like, every time um, Bath & Body Works has one of their sales where they're like, two candles for the price of one or $10 off three-way candles or, you know, whatever, I stock up. So when the fall season came around, I was like, I should get fall candles, but I have so many candles that I feel like that would be a waste. So I only got like a five or six and I got the little one wick ones. That way I can put them all over the house and I don't feel weird about that because they're little and you know, they burn quicker and they're, they take up less space. Cause those three wick candles, man, they take up less space. It's like this big. If you want to put it on your bathroom sink, forget about it. Your toothbrush is going in the garbage because there's no space on the sink for the toothbrush once the three wick candle is there. So this is my favorite scent though for autumn and it's cold. All the autumn. I mean, it's so basic. But I actually like these little candles because I like the little designs they have on them. I don't know if you can see. It's a little fox and a little autumn leaf and it says autumn and gold and the fox is like in a cranberry purple color. It's really pretty and it smells so good. So what I like about this autumn candle is that it smells autumny but not overly sweet. So there's that, I don't know if it's like, I think it's apple. There's that apple scent, but it's not like an apple pie or an apple crumble or an apple cobbler scent where you feel like there's like a lot of added sugar. It's like I walked outside and there's an apple tree in my yard and it just rained and now that smell of fresh apples is surrounding me. That's what this reminds me of and I love it. I actually do think they have a sale going on right now for like $10 off three-way candles, <laughs> but don't take my word for it. All right, next we're talking about a couple skincare items. I think I might only have one skincare item actually, but it's amazing. I mean, so it's technically two. And this first one, I got this because I have an extremely sensitive, sensitive skin. And I'm, you know, getting into my mid thirties or maybe I've been in my mid thirties for like a minute. And I wanted to kind of introduce some more retinols into my skincare routine just to kind of hold back the wrinkles and the fine lines, but I'm so sensitive that especially when I put anything around my eyes, it's not a good look. I get like a rash, it gets red, it gets flaky. So I needed something that had the, I don't know, like the efficacy of a retinol without the harshness of a retinol. And after a lot of research, I do a lot of research on everything, okay? After a lot of research, I came up with this and I'm not gonna pronounce it because you guys make fun of me and I'm so sick of being made fun of by you guys. But this is by Herbivore. And it's called Bacachol. I know that's wrong. I know it's wrong. So this is a retinol alternative and smoothing serum. This is my second bottle of this stuff. When I first tried it out, I was like, this is not gonna work. Anything this says it's an alternative for anything. It never works as well. And I've been pleasantly surprised that not only, you know, obviously I, I don't think I've seen any fine line reduction yet. I've only been using it for about a month and a half. And I could say that on my forehead, I've seen fine line reduction, but overall, it made my skin so smooth. I don't know if you guys have noticed that probably about maybe three weeks ago and maybe even more, maybe four weeks ago, in my videos, I was having some really rough skin around this area. I have a couple autoimmune conditions that cause my skin to sometimes get like that in certain areas of my face. And whenever that happens, it blindsides me, first of all, because I never know when it's coming. And it also, it's really embarrassing because even if I put makeup on, it still looks rough and gross. And I just want that smooth skin. And this Bacuchiol, 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 Bacuchiol? Well, whatever this is called, it makes my skin look clearer. It makes it look smoother. The texture's nicer. It makes it look dewier. I really like Herbivore too. I think that they're a good company and they make good skincare. I've never gotten anything from Herbivore that I didn't like, but I like this from Herbivore better than anything else that I've ever tried. And it doesn't have a scent. Some people ask me that. It has no scent. So even if you see it looks kind of like purpley, there's no scent there. Just remember if you are using a retinol or a retinol alternative even, 
puts on screen on during the day because using these kinds of serums and things, it turns over your skin cell production a lot faster. So you're having new skin come up a lot more quickly than you would before. And so your skin's gonna be susceptible to getting burnt. And on that note, I found a new awesome sunscreen that I love and it's by Shiseido. I think it's Shiseido. This is called the Urban Environment Oil-Free UV Protector Broad Spectrum SPF 42. So it says oil-free. Um, which is strange because it feels almost like an oil when you put it on. It's very moisturizing and it, the reason I love it is because it works perfectly under makeup. Perfectly under makeup and it actually has a pretty high SPF for a face product and I need to wear sunscreen every day I don't go outside without wearing sunscreen and I'm not one of those people that's like gonna shame you if you don't wear sunscreen every day because that's your preference and everybody has different skin and kind of like reacts to the sun differently but my skin is very pale and very sensitive even aside from it being pale it's incredibly sensitive to sun and I think like pale people age quicker. And not only is my skin pale and sensitive, it's extremely dry. So really, I mean, any wrinkles and anything that I'm gonna get is gonna show a lot quicker than it would for somebody else who has a little bit more pigment in their skin or more oily skin. And you know, their skin's not breaking out every time something touches it. And my skin is just really problematic with that. It can look really nice if I take good care of it and I keep its levels in balance and everything, but if I do anything wrong or use anything that it doesn't like for two weeks, it's just a mess and I have to figure out how to get it back to homeostasis. So I really uh, think that sunscreen is a super important part in your skincare routine, especially if you are using retinoids or any you know AHAs or BHAs that are gonna be turning your skin cells over and you would need protection for your, your really virgin new skin that's coming out. Virgin? So I use sunscreen every day. I have been using The Ordinary's mineral sunscreen. I also like a mineral sunscreen over a chemical sunscreen. And this Shiseido one is a mineral sunscreen. That's why I chose The Ordinary's one. But The Ordinary is getting kind of heavy for me as far as like wearing under makeup. Um, in the summer it was fine because I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup when I went out regularly because it was five million degrees and there was no point in doing that. But in the fall, I like to, you know, go a little heavier in the makeup, have more of a full coverage look when I go out on, on the day to day. So I like wearing sunscreen under the makeup and that one just works better under makeup for me. Next is a makeup item, but I don't really know what this is. I don't really know what this is. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a superstar youth glow. I thought at first that it was a primer. And then when I got it, I was like, this is more like a foundation. So then I looked it up and I said, what is this? And they, they basically don't tell you ever what it is. They just say you can wear it under makeup, you can wear it over makeup, or you can wear it both under and over makeup. So I'm over here like, well, that's strange and you have to pick your shade. So I didn't think I was gonna like it because when something's too complicated and I have to think about it too much or figure out ways that I can use it, I'm not a fan. It hurts my head. But this is amazing. It's amazing. This is probably my top favorite thing that I've discovered as far as um, makeup and skincare goes. Maybe top two as far as makeup and skincare goes in the past like six months. It's awesome. I don't know what it is. So what the way I use it, I'll tell you how I use it. And then if you guys use this, tell me how you use it. So I put on my skincare and then I put on my primer and then I put this over it as if I was putting on foundation. And I, I tap that in with like a beauty blender, whatever tamp, I don't know what y'all call it. I'm not a, a beauty guru. Put a beauty blender on my face and put it all over as if it was foundation. And you could literally go out like that because you have this nice glow, you have like a little amount of coverage. You could go out like that if you wanted, but if you don't want that and you're looking for a more full coverage look, you put your foundation over that. I'm still using the Makeup Forever HD foundation stick. Put your makeup over that and then tamp that in, whatever you do with the beauty blender, and then put this over that and it gives you like a little bit more coverage in certain areas and it also gives you this really beautiful glow. So it's literally like a filter. It's a filter in real life. I love this. 
So this is awesome. If you guys have used this, let me know. Now, don't get this confused. There's also, um, I believe, a, a foundation from Charlotte Tilbury that's that looks kind of just like this. I don't like that foundation. I don't really like Charlotte Tilbury foundations, but this, this I love. This I can I can work with. Next, I want to talk to you about the ColourPop um, Just a Tint lipsticks. Now, when these first came out, I don't even know if they're called lipsticks. I think they're literally called lip tints, but when these first came out, I tried to order them, but they were all sold out. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I think I cried about it in my story for a minute, but then I finally got my hands on them and I love them. I've been wearing these all month. I think I've only worn actual liquid lipstick once or twice in my videos this month. All month I've been wearing these lip tints and I got a lot of compliments on this pink one. Somebody said it was a dupe for something in my comment section and I was like, I don't know, it's ColourPop. And that other lipstick you were talking about is way more expensive. These are, you know, pretty, it's ColourPop. They're, they're affordable. So I love these. They smell delicious like peaches or watermelon or I don't know, just delicious. And I really like the coverage and it's like glossy because I've been leaning more towards a glossy look as opposed to um, a matte look like you would get with a liquid lipstick, but they're more glossy and they actually feel conditioning. Um, and you feel like you have like a kind of really pretty chapstick on, but you're getting a lot of coverage and a lot of color and a lot of pigment. So this is the one I have on today. And it's called Cherry Pickin', even though, I don't know why it's called Cherry Pickin', because I feel like it looks brown and not red, and cherries are red. But it's called Cherry Pickin'. And then this is the one that I've been wearing whenever you see me have a pink lipstick on, and it's called Chubby Bunny. Chubby Bunny? Cherry Pickin'? I have two more as well. I don't know where they are. I think they're in my purse because I carry them with me everywhere, but I'm definitely picking up more of these. I love them. Love them. Are they pretty? They're just pretty. Okay, next, before we go, I want to talk about the ColourPop times Kathleen Lights So Jaded Palette. This has been my go-to palette of, I don't know, the month of October, I'd say, and even some of September. You can tell she's gotten a lot of love on my eyes every single video in October I have been wearing this palette because there's just so much I think this is the biggest palette ColourPop has ever come out with but there's just so much in here so many looks that you can do like if you look here I can see a look happening here these ones up here I can see a look happening these here today I have this on my eyes and so today I'm wearing Citrine. I'm also wearing Jade. There's a little stone on my inner corner. And then on the bottom lash line, I have Carmelian? Carnelian? Carnelian? Yeah, that. The shimmers are beautiful. The mattes are beautiful. ColourPop makes a great eyeshadow palette. I love ColourPop's eyeshadow palettes. In fact, I mean, I would have to say my top three eyeshadows are Violet Voss, ColourPop, and Jeffree Star Cosmetics. They just have really good formulations. I enjoy the colors. Um, I love ColourPop. I have a ton of their palettes, but the shimmers are beautiful. The mattes are beautiful. They're easy to blend. There's so many colors in here. It's just perfect. I brought this to LA with me, and I loved that I could bring one palette and have so many color options. And I do believe this was out of stock for a little bit, but it is back in stock. Kathleen Lights is one of the sweetest, most genuine, nice people that I have ever known. She is a sweetheart. She's a good friend. She's a good person to have around. She's always a positive, uplifting, like personality and energy in your life. And I literally have never heard her complain about anything or be negative about anything. And she's just a sweetheart. So I do like to support Kathleen. I like to support ColourPop. And I mean, in general, I like to support myself by having awesome makeup. So I'm just gonna swatch a little bit for you. Um, ugh, it's so hard to pick. All right, so I'm gonna swatch Aquamarine and Amatrine, Amatrine? I don't know, but that's one of my favorite shades, by the way, Amatrine. Um, Moonstone also is nice. Ugh, Sunstone is nice. Citrine, I love Citrine. It's this like mustardy color, but I'm wearing it on my eyes, like I said, but. All right, let's 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 swatch, you know. Here comes the bad swatching. All right, so I'm gonna go in here to Peridot, Peridot, Peridot. Oh, look how pretty it is. And I'm gonna swatch her. And now I'm gonna go into Emeralds. I'm gonna swatch her. 
And now I will go into, oh, Amatrine, Amatrine. Remember I said I like this one, but I wish I could pronounce it. There she is. And let's take my pinky and go into Ruby just because that's real pretty. But it's a pinky swatch, so forgive her if she's not as big and bold as the other ones. Um, and I do want to come in here to a mat, so I'm going to actually take Citrine on my thumb and then just go ahead and swatch her for you. I mean, so pretty. Ooh. Okay, so that's it for today. It's 8.20 and Aiden has to get on the bus in 25 minutes and I didn't realize how long I was talking for and chatting with you guys for. So I really enjoyed these favorite videos because it gives me a chance to just kind of be myself and um, let you know what I've been loving this season. This sweater is from H&M. I love it. It's a long sweater and it's kind of like really cozy and it's got nice like baggy sleeves. And this shirt, I got it from Saturday Morning Pancakes and I also got my gray sweatshirt that says so I creep from Saturday morning pancakes I love Saturday morning pancakes they have the cutest like novelty tees and they do different ones for all the different holidays so check that out remember to check out glasses USA if you guys are interested in getting a new pair of glasses if you guys have been loving my glasses these past couple of months glasses USA will be your jam so check it out I am gonna go get Aiden on the bus and then I have a morning meeting and then I have to come back and record a Halloween video for you guys. So stay kind and stay beautiful. I love you so much. Happy fall and I'll see you next time. Bye. I didn't want to kiss my fingers because then I would have eyeshadow all over my face. You melt me down from the inside. You tear down my walls. God, I thought that I was smarter, but... My lips will touch